Hey everybody, Vinny here. Welcome back to the kitchen. It's been a while. I was down in Florida. Had to get back to work. But today we are making beer cheese soup. Kind of stuff you get at like Twin Peaks or some of those gastro pubs. It's delicious. Okay, so in the pot we have three sticks of butter. We're going to melt it on medium heat. The butter is now melted. One quarter cup, or sorry, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going to whisk it in until it's smooth. And I know there's some people watching this like, oh, he's so smart, he's using a wire whisk on a non-stick pan. Uncle Roger's screaming somewhere. But this is perfectly fine. These Food Network pans are awesome. So we're just whisking it until it's nice and smooth and combined. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so we're going to whisk this. Now what we have to do is very slowly add two 12-ounce cans of beer. I only have Coors Light, but it will work just fine. And that's why you slowly add it. Because it froths up crazy. My son is having way too much fun playing Fortnite. Alright, let's add the second can, then we gotta whisk it real good. I know it looks nasty, but this is going to be delicious. All right, so let me whisk this until it's nice and smooth. Okay, nice and smooth. Now we're going to add two boxes of chicken broth. You can use stock too. That's fine. I have an extra box just to control the thickness of the uh, soup as well. Oops. Alright, do that. Then we're going to add four teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, just like that. A half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of ground mustard, about a, a one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. You could adjust the salt, pepper, and cayenne, you know, to your taste because. Not everyone likes some heat with their food. I'm just gonna whisk this all together. Yes, we're back to Blair Witch film filming again because I lost my tripod in Florida, it broke. <sighs> Always interrupted by my little monsters. Alright, so now what we're going to do is let this come up to a boil and thicken up a little bit. Be right back. Now we got this nice gentle boil going. We got to add almost eight cups of cheddar cheese. I'm using mild cheddar. You can use sharp if you want. We're just going to carefully add that in because, well, you know, the soup does get thick and it, you know, I don't need it splashing on me like some kind of cheesy napalm. Let me give this a little bit of quick stir. It's already melting. Sweet. Come on. It's not, it's cheddar, not mozzarella. It shouldn't be that stringy. Right, we're going to add most of this other bag. Remember I told you about the thickness? Uh, yeah, the cheese does impact that quite a bit. Oh, God, shaky camera. I need a new tripod. Save that last little bit for some garnishing. So mix this in. We're just going to slowly stir it until the cheese melts and incorporates into the soup. So... Okay, it looks like we have that nice consistency. It's nice and creamy, which is good because you don't want it to where you, you know, you want it to have a little bit of that runniness to it, but you don't want it being too thick to where, you know, you're eating something the consistency of mayonnaise. Oh. So let's uh, get this in a bowl. 
Boom, there we have it. Beer cheese soup and the best way to eat it in a bread bowl. If you don't have any bread bowls, stick around for the next video. I'll show you how to make them. You garnish this with some uh, green onion, more cheese, and some bacon. So, you know, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.